Would you like to ride in the taxi from the fifth element? It's likely that soon this will be possible. Only instead of a cab driver, a digital system will take you wherever you want. Such is the vehicle you see on your screen. The model reaches speeds of over 124 miles per hour and can fly up to about 62 miles. Passengers are seated in a protective capsule. In case of emergency, there is a rescue parachute. The flight altitude can reach 492 feet. The dimensions of the air cab allow for seamless integration into the existing urban infrastructure. For example, it fits in a regular parking space. The team is currently testing the prototype and notes that it already combines safety, speed, and convenience. In the future, many professions will find it easier to work. For example, this exoskeleton and similar products will help construction workers. Thanks to the additional support, the load on the arms is reduced, and it becomes more comfortable to hold even heavy tools for a long time. The model is simple and easy to wear. It's attached to the back like a backpack. Thanks to the smart weight distribution, it's comfortable to wear. The prototype was developed by Atune, a division of Japanese Panasonic, and looks very promising. Unfortunately, at the end of April 2022, the Atune team will be dissolved due to different circumstances. We can only hope that the project will be picked up and developed by the parent corporation. The creators of this robot, which looks like it escaped from the cover of the ESET Nod32 antivirus, claim that it's the world's most advanced humanoid robot. It'll be useful for developing machine learning technologies and can demonstrate how machines and humans interact with each other. One of the key features of the robot is the Tritium software platform. It makes developers' lives easier as Tritium supports almost any programming language and software from different providers. The Mesma system is also interesting as it allows the robot to express emotions. Thanks to the use of 3D copies of real people and state-of-the-art technical solutions, a lot of details are taken into account. For example, eye contact, bone and skin movements, and body and head position. Hello there. So nice to meet you. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. It is important for emergency services to get to the scene of an accident as quickly as possible. Ford engineers have introduced the concept of smart traffic lights to avoid accidents, complicated maneuvers, and forced stops at intersections. After all, the last thing you need in an emergency situation is a fire truck or an ambulance waiting for a green light. The concept has already been tested in Germany, more exactly on a city route with eight traffic lights. It's really simple. The emergency vehicle can turn on the green traffic light in advance. As soon as the car passes the intersection, the traffic light returns to normal operation. The driver can also find out when the traffic light will go green and avoid unnecessary braking. While some specialists are trying to make air cabs similar to ordinary cars, Others are building real electric airplanes. A team of developers from California believes that their design will help make air taxis affordable, widespread, and environmentally friendly. At the moment, the prototype is undergoing flight tests. It's capable of speeding up to 180 miles per hour and can fly about 100 miles on one charge. For example, it can fly from San Jose to San Francisco in 15 minutes. The innovative vehicle is able to take off and land vertically. Manual and remote controls are also available. The cabin accommodates only one person, but it will be possible to produce these vehicles at the price of a car, the developers say. Technology keeps developing at an amazing pace. And now, it's possible to install an operating system not only on a smartphone or a computer, but also in a room. The development called Space Time OS is simple and intuitive. Just place special sensors and you can admire a virtual copy of the room. The operating system allows real-time assessment of a huge amount of data, from temperature and humidity to the number of people in the room. You can download pre-made apps or write your own, like if you were playing The Sims. The sensors feature ultra-wideband chips and Bluetooth, 
using a similar technology to that used in Apple AirTags. Thanks to this flexibility, the operating system can even be integrated into businesses, for example, to help estimate the foot traffic in a store or cafe. The creators of this system want to increase the fuel efficiency of ships by more than 30%. The idea came about for a reason. The International Maritime Organization wants to halve the greenhouse gas emissions generated by ships by 2055. One of the proposed solutions is a system called Wind Wings, which you can see on your screen. According to the developers, they already have several contracts to install Wind Wings. So far, the system is only suitable for large ships, like tankers and bulk carriers, and it can be installed on ships under construction as well as on ships already built. Several more variants of the system are planned for the future, and they will be more compact. Sometimes, designers' ideas are so creative that it's impossible to explain them. Like this concept of a bus covered with LCD panels. The six-wheeler looks like a huge billboard. The creator has his own vision. He believes that the concept utilizes new trends in technology to transform city landscapes. He also says that the passengers won't be left without a view because the panels will be transparent. And they can also display useful information, such as weather forecasts or routes for tourists. I wonder if it will be possible to display a movie on the screen to help drivers pass the time in traffic. This innovative tractor will come in handy for winemakers in France and other countries in the future. Thanks to the unusual shape of its body, it can easily pass between the rows of vines, making it much easier to care for them. The concept didn't come about by chance either. The fact is that in the premium vineyards of Champagne, Burgundy and other regions, grapes are planted very compactly. In addition, they're often planted on difficult terrain. For this reason, engineers have developed a special cabin that resembles an inverted bottle to minimize the risk of damaging the vines. In addition, this shape helps improve the driver's visibility. The overall design stands out for its smooth lines and reminds us of sports cars. And it's not surprising, because it was created in the Italian studio Pininfarina, known for its work with Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, and Maserati. Citroen is here to please us with their unusual projects, too. They've presented this micro car. Its key features are environmental friendliness and compactness. It's powered by a 6 kilowatt electric motor and has a range of 43 miles. It offers enough space for two people and luggage, while the length of the micro car is only 7.9 feet. The car is not the fastest in the world, with a top speed of 48 miles per hour. The company notes that their creation is a great alternative to public transport transport, and the design developed from scratch allows to make the most of the car components suitable for recycling. This is how the members of an American startup see the future of maritime transport. They're working on two unusual projects at once. The first is a 150-seat hydrofoil ferry equipped with an electric engine. The cruising speed is about 46 miles per hour, and one battery charge is enough for about 115 miles. That's enough to serve 90% of the US commuter ferry routes. The second concept is also fitted with hydrofoils, but it's designed for cargo transportation. It's also capable of accelerating up to about 46 miles per hour, and its main feature is a hydrogen engine. With it, transportation will not only be more environmentally friendly, but also about 50% cheaper than on a plane. In fact, the concept is positioned as a vehicle that fills the gap between air and sea transportation. And thanks to the clever design of the hull, the vessel can be fully unloaded and loaded in less than two hours. This concept, reminiscent of a spaceship, was created by an industrial designer from Spain. 
You are looking at a supersonic aircraft with a compact fusion reactor, signifying the new era of the aeronautic industry. The name of the concept translates from Latin as Big Bird, and the parameters show that this is indeed a powerful aircraft. It has a seating capacity of 500 people and a top speed of more than 1,119 miles per hour, thanks to four engines. It looks very interesting, but opinions are divided. Some people are delighted and say that such vehicles will someday fly into space, and others accuse the author of not knowing the principles of aerodynamics. Which side are you on? Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals, amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.